Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I've been using the Note 9 again, and I wanna go ahead and revisit that device, especially with the Note 10 being announced very soon. I will actually be at that event doing a lot of coverage on the phone itself, so be sure you subscribe so you're notified when those videos go live. Now I wanna go ahead and take a look at the Note 9 and see if it's still worth purchasing or if it's worth it to just wait and get the Galaxy Note 10. Early August, you can expect the Note 10 to be announced. There have been a lot of leaks and renders. Here's a picture of what everyone thinks the Note 10 is going to look like, just so you have a reference for the design of the upcoming device versus the current Note 9. In my opinion, the Note 9 is still a very good looking phone. It has a little bit more bezel than other flagships out there. However, it still holds up in terms of that premium quality feel. Like most glass backs, it does collect a lot of fingerprints, very noticeable. And then of course with the Note 9, you still have a physical fingerprint scanner on the back. Something that's pretty much done away with, whether it goes to face unlock or in display fingerprint scanners now. A really nice feature of the rear fingerprint scanner is the swipe down gesture you can do to check the notification tray. It's really convenient. Don't even have to touch the display to check those notifications. In terms of updates, the Note 9 is on the latest Android 9 Pie. However, it did take a bit of time for them to push out that update. So historically, Samsung has been slower with updates. So you kind of just have to accept that at this point. Hopefully they change their tune sometime soon though. The Pi update did bring one UI, which is probably my favorite skin over Android that Samsung has brought yet. Uh, they do have the ability to turn on a more night mode, which kind of darkens all of the colors throughout the interface. And then of course, also you have new gestures as well, which I like using. I prefer that because you get a little more screen real estate over the buttons. I know a lot of people have some pretty heavy opinions on whether they want the buttons or gestures. I actually think I like gestures better than buttons. You still cannot go wrong with the display on the Note 9. It is gorgeous AMOLED display. Uh, the one thing about the Note 10 that you should expect is a higher refresh rate, which makes, makes things a lot smoother than other phones have right now. I think that's a trend you're going to start seeing in flagship phones is the refresh rate of the display getting higher. Now it's really great that the Galaxy Note 9 still has a headphone jack. Not a lot of phones now have them anymore. Sometimes that's a deal breaker for certain people. However, it is rumored that the Note 10 is going to get rid of that headphone jack which could be a bit unfortunate. I'm kind of upset about it. I wish they would just throw it in there, but it most likely will get rid of it. So if you are someone that needs that headphone jack, the Note 9 might be the better option. And of course, with the Note series, you do get an S Pen, pretty much the only phone you can buy with a stylus included. And it's actually very useful. The one thing I find is that I need to actually force myself to remember all the different features that it has. There's so many different things that you can do with it. There's a fairly big learning curve with the S Pen. After a while, it starts to become more and more natural. One thing that I use all the time is with the display off, just pulling the pen out and writing myself a quick note, saving it, and then putting my phone back in my pocket. It's extremely convenient if I'm writing down an email address, phone number, or just random thoughts that I have throughout the day. It's also very useful when taking pictures, specifically if you have group shots where you don't wanna actually press the shutter button on the display. You can use that S Pen to actually take the picture, or let's say you are watching a video in front of you and you're eating a bowl of cereal or something, You don't, your hands get dirty, you don't wanna to touch the display, you can go ahead and just double press to skip specific songs, or if you're in YouTube, specific videos as well. Honestly, I'm pretty excited to see what features the S Pen and the Note 10 will have, because generally Samsung will add more and more throughout the different variants. And after all this time, I still use the Google Assistant over Bixby. It does have a dedicated button. As long as you can remap it or turn it off, I really don't mind them having that extra button. So here's some pictures taken with the Note 9 recently. And honestly, this camera holds up over time. Still one of the better cameras out there that you can use on a smartphone. So that's really nice to see. Samsung always does a good job with their cameras overall. The biggest gripe that I really have with this phone is that it, they decided to go with a telephoto lens over an ultra wide lens. Uh, time and time again, I use ultra wide lenses more than I use my telephoto lens. So hopefully in the Note 10, they go with that ultra wide lens, maybe in addition to a telephoto lens. But if I had to choose between ultra wide and telephoto, I'd pick ultra wide just about every time. Now to finish everything up, in the Note 9, you get a very capable device that is still worth purchasing even today, especially after the Note 10 gets launched. 
you might see some price reductions on that Note 9. It still is very fast, very snappy, takes good pictures. Again, you're going to get better pictures out of some of the later flagship phones. Design-wise, it is going to have a little bit more bezels than, again, those later flagship phones. However, some people don't mind that at all. I still think it's a very good looking phone. Also, the display technology is still very good. Those AMOLED displays that Samsung makes are gorgeous. And finally, if you want a headphone jack in your Galaxy Note device, the Note 9 might be the last one to actually have one. So kind of keep that in mind if you're holding out for the Note 10. Anyways, that is everything I want to cover on the Galaxy Note 9 Revisited. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to click that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe as well. Like I said, a lot of content coming on the Galaxy Note 10. So stay tuned for that. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.